Hello, welcome back to my channel. I was gonna sit down today to do like a formal what to shop for Black Friday, but time keeps on slipping. <laughs> you feel me? Um, I am waiting to see if Annie's gonna self-soothe. We switched her to um, this Merlin sleep sack, which is amazing and it will actually be on my Black Friday list, um, which hopefully will come Wednesday so stay tuned for that um the irony is or uh, besides me not having like proper time to sit down and film and uh set you all up with all the links is that every time I go to search something that I'm passionate about it's not gonna be on sale but of course she has expensive taste folks but this magic merlin suit um not sponsored but I did reach out to them and Oh, actually, they reached out to me because I had commented on one of their Instagram posts because this thing has been amazing. We're transitioning her out of her Ollie swaddle into the Magic Merlin swaddle. And um, it's like, it actually is magic. So I had messaged them, or I had left a message, uh, comment, sorry, in my brain, left a comment on their Instagram and they reached out to me and were like, we want to send you a product. And they're like, would you ever want to do a collaboration? So I just reached out to them and I was like, are you doing a Black Friday sale? Because I feel very passionate about your products. And actually, I'm, I started a Mommy and Me class. I mentioned that last week. And there's another mom in there that's like, I want to buy stock in Magic Merlin. Like, it's the best. And um, I would have to agree, at least for right now, like Annie's like self-soothing all right, I spoke too soon, but like she's doing a lot better in this as opposed to like, well, she was doing so great in her Ollie swaddle, but now she's just like growing out of it and wants a little more independence. So this thing is amazing. Um, so I reached out to them and they are doing a uh, free shipping, I believe, but they're offering us us folks 15% off so I will leave that information down below and then when I go ahead and do the uh, Black Friday I'm also gonna do like small business Saturday whatever whatever I can pull together I will also mention that again um, I just feel so passionate about this that I wanted to share with it with you right off the bat as she's literally crying okay I'll be right back so like I said I'm just gonna finish curating uh, my list for Black Friday sales but like so many things that I love aren't on sale, like the baby Einstein fish tank I couldn't find to be on sale, the baby boron bouncer, I'm looking at my list, the um, um, the carrier that I use, so just give me a day more to pull everything together, and if it's not on sale, I'm just going to reach out to the company like I did with Magic Merlin and see if we can get ourselves um, some sort of a discount. So there you go, a little update on my eye, let me put you down. It's doing so much better. I It looks worse than it actually is. Like now when I run my finger over it after um, I clean it, I notice that like the bump is actually not really a bump anymore. It looks worse than it is. It's pretty flat. So I opted out of doing the antibiotics simply because I feel like after birth, um, I've just had so much medication in my body with the whole heart thing. Like it's just been so much that I'm like, I don't know, maybe it's an irrational fear, but I'm like, I just don't want to put one more thing in my body um, in terms of like heavy duty medication. And so I just been doing the topical cream and a hot compress and this is totally woo woo. And I'm sure most of you are going to roll your eyes, but hold on. I was referred to this product. It is a supplement standard process. It's called Thymax. It's supposed to be like a supplemental version for an antibiotic. So, you know, take that with a grain of salt. I am, but I'm taking it. It basically has vitamin C, magnesium and some other stuff in it um and a friend of mine swears by this so you know worth a try it definitely looks is healing better it just still looks a little bit funky so you know my ego is still recovering from this but we're getting there i'm gonna make some formula and i guess just take you along on the day a life of a mom trying to vlog in between her child sleeping eating crying playing Oh, and she's teething. She's teething so early, guys. What the heck? What the heck? Stay tuned for more on that. Okay, the babe is asleep, obviously. Um, you know, she's been napping pretty well, especially in this Merlin suit thing. Um, but I feel like the last couple days she is teething, which is wild. She's at the very, like, front of when teeth, like, can come in. Um, and we didn't really believe it because it's, like, very early. She's almost four months um but she's been drooling like non-stop and been like far fussier the last couple of days than she's been in a long while and the only thing that's changed is that like her wake 
windows are a little bit longer so she's not sleeping as much throughout the day but she's drooling like crazy she's biting her hand a lot and she had like a little low grade fever the other day so i've been looking in her mouth and like sure enough i can see like the whites starting to pop in i need to like feel down there but for some reason it like freaks me out um so i'm gonna make jack do it um by the way i highly suggest getting your child a baseball cap it's just the cutest thing ever i'm gonna attempt to sit down and see if she doesn't wake up hold on oh yeah so anyways, um, I feel like her naps have been a lot shorter and so I just tried wearing her today for the first time in a while and she gravitated towards it really quickly and um, is taking the second half of her nap on me, which is totally fine. I've been able to get a little bit of stuff done. I can like literally like make the formula and make the bed and I was just doing a little bit more research on some Black Friday stuff. Black Friday is confusing because it's also like cyber it like rolls into cyber monday but like black friday sales are already going and then like ugh, most places just have sales in general so um i'm finding it a little bit harder this year than it has been in the past to really curate but anyways i digress um i feel like i should give a mental health check in an update uh because i was just standing over there doing some work like i said and i like started to feel a little panicky and I've been noticing that I've been feeling a little bit panicky more than usual lately. Um, and I think that's just like part of the healing process. And, you know, I definitely feel like on this channel, I've been talking a lot about my mental health. And it's been a little bit more of a real talk kind of channel recently. And a health talk um, more so than like, you know, just like positive, fun, free flowing. But I guess that's like the reality right now. I hate being a downer. I like hate being a downer. Um, and I feel pretty good in general, but I do feel like it's, I'm vlogging and I am doing daily life stuff. And I'm thinking about, I'll come back to this in a second, thinking about doing um, um, my brain uh, vlogmas. And if I do that, I mean, there's no like hiding the days that I don't feel good. So I might as well put this all out there now. So anyways, I've been feeling a little bit more panicky recently and the other day I was sitting with her, feeding her, and I had a full-on like flashback of an experience in the hospital um, that like during the birth and it was really bizarre and not like I had like an outer body like flashback, but it was definitely like, I'm definitely experiencing post-traumatic stress disorder and um I started to get really panicky and then I like had to like center myself because child comes first now and she's the most important um and obviously we were like on the couch we're safe everything's fine um but like just looking at her and being present with her brought me back to reality so that was good but I was just like whoa I still got like a lot of work to do so I hopped on today a group meeting uh, for birth trauma and I just like cried the whole time which is nuts because I felt like last time I was so like composed and I felt really like positive and inspired and today I left the meeting feeling positive and inspired but I definitely came into it feeling very differently um, but it's just a reminder that like doing things like that are important and all the women that were on there were inspiring and they all had their own wild stories and just like knowing that other people are going through similar things and processing similarly and processing slowly. Um, you know, I, everyone's story on there is private, but there was one woman who has been processing this for two years. So, you know, it gave me a little bit, like it helped me take some pressure off of this idea that I have to like be okay right away. So I just wanted to share that with you. If you feel like you've been like working through something, but like, you know, two steps forward, one step back kind of thing. Um, shout out Paula Abdul, if you know, you know, right? Two steps forward. No, that was two steps back. Um, but just to know that like, that's like part of the healing process. So uh, you're doing okay. Also, I wanted to fill you in about Mommy and Me because I said I was going to take you guys to go to Mommy and Me with me, but um, it was just too much. 
it is such a to-do to load her into the car. I was like so nervous the whole time or the whole day, like actually the night before, I was like, okay, listen, like I'm new at this, so this is gonna sound crazy, but like I didn't know how to schedule the class in terms of like, I didn't know when I should wake her up from her nap and when to feed her and when to get her in the car and like how would it would all work because her nap or like her wake windows are pretty short. Like I said, they're getting bigger, but like usually after an hour and a half, she needs to take a nap and she's not the kind of kid that can just like nap anywhere. I should have maybe brought my carrier. Maybe I'll do that next time. But like, so I was just like very confused as to how to schedule out the travel time, the wake time, the feeding time because it was our first time doing this and I was doing it all by myself. So we showed up to class and she did really great in the car. She didn't cry in the car. I had fed her like right before we left. We, she had napped like a really long time before we went. We get there and like, mind you, I am the only new mom in class. It's a new session, but it's like session two for kids this age from these birth dates. So like everyone else had been in the class before except for me and Annie. Um, and so, you know, it's hard to like walk into new situations, just generally speaking. But then on top of that, like everyone already has like a rapport and knows everyone. And so I'm like, the, we are like literally the new kids in school and socializing definitely isn't my strong suit in those kind of situations. Um, on top of the fact that I have this giant sty in my eye, um, uh, and I'm like so neurotic cause I, this is the first time like really doing anything like this with her. Um, and so we get there, of course, I'm like late, um, but I get her in and I'm just like pretending like I feel confident, which I didn't need to do. I mean, I, I feel like all these parents are all relatively new parents. They're not new to the group, but they're new parents because all the kids are this, like the same July and August babies of this year. So, you know, they're all new parents. There's only a few parents in there that were like second time parents. Um, but anyways, we're like, doing okay, she's like looking around, she's like mesmerized that there's other kids because she really hasn't seen, she hasn't really socialized and she's doing pretty good. I'm like, oh yeah, my my daughter kicks butt. She's like tummy tummy, like her neck is strong. She's got more hair than everyone in class. She's so cute, you know, all this. And then like they go around and they're like, okay, it's time to like go around, introduce yourself. And today let's tell one like a story about our birth. And I'm like, oh God. These people have no idea what they're in store for here. So we're going around and everyone's being like very lovely and very vulnerable. And some women have had, you know, some more difficult births than others. Um, and women are tearing up and, you know, it's like nice. And I'm like, okay, I feel comfortable like in that, like I don't have to pretend and I can actually tell my story and this and that. And so then it comes around to us. And the minute I start talking, she starts crying like, oh, I just realized this angle is so horrendous, whatever comfortable she starts crying like full on like red face crying and meanwhile i'm like telling the story of her birth and i'm crying so now the two of us are like crying and i'm like okay she's obviously like tired i need to like you know get up and like start like swaying her and they're like it's okay you can like no big deal like you know everybody else's babies are crying and stuff and everyone's like so so kind but she's doing her like call it cry like her top of her lungs as red of a face like no calming down kind of cry and I don't have like her magic merlin I don't have her swaddle like I don't have any of that stuff with me um all I have is a little bit of her gripe water and her passy and so I'm like trying and I'm like bouncing her up and down and at some point I'm like I just have to like leave the room so I leave the room and I'm out in the like the hallway and I'm bouncing her and she's going ballistic and I'm crying and I'm just so overwhelmed because being a parent is so hard. I haven't slept in a decade and I want the best for her. And I'm like, I'm not embarrassed, but I'm just uncomfortable. Like, you know, I'm just like, I just feel like, oh my God, we need a win so bad. And I'm, I'm sad for her. She's uncomfortable. So this mom comes out and she's like, do you, and I'm like crying in front of a stranger, which is like my least favorite thing in the whole entire world to do. And she's like, do you want me to hold her? And like, without a question, I'm like, yes. So she's like, let me wash my hands. She's so sweet. And she like, it's bouncing Annie. And like, Annie stops crying. And normally I would have been embarrassed by that. But I was just like, so relieved at that point. And like, the thing about kids is like, she just needed like, kind of a change of 
maybe she needed to be off of me for a second because I was emotional, whatever the case was, it was really helpful. And then Annie like passed out in my arms. Like she was just really, really tired and totally overstimulated. And the mom was like, oh my God, my kid, like the first time she was here, she cried the whole class and so-and-so had to help me. And like, I know one day you'll need me to help you. And I was like, of course, and I'll be there. Like, that's like how mom friendships, I guess, were born. But now in retrospect, I'm like still so embarrassed, which again, there's no need to be embarrassed, but I still am. Anyways, we went back in class and it was fine. And she finished, uh, we finished the class and then she kind of like woke up and I fed her and I kind of like just stayed there late. And I talked to the teacher who I actually loved the teacher so very much. And I feel like of all the people, mom's there, she's a mom. I feel like that would be the one person I really want to be friends with. Um, so anyways, then we left and she cried a lot on the car ride home. It was just a lot for her. Like She's a sensitive gal and because of all my medical stuff and then her colic stuff, we just haven't socialized. Like we just have not socialized. So I know this is good and I know I need to like suck it up and go back next week and I will. Actually this week, uh, they're like closed for Thanksgiving. So I'm kind of happy about that. I have like one more week to like gain my energy because when we came back home, I was just like so exhausted. I felt so drained she was drained for the rest of the day and kind of cranky the rest of the day i feel like i've been cranky since that day it was just like i know it sounds so stupid it was literally just a little mommy and me class but like it was just a lot so uh we will brush ourselves off and we will go back um but yeah, that was our experience um, in our first day in mommy and me class. And then like all the moms are on this like WhatsApp group, which I guess moms like love WhatsApp, according to Tracy. And like, they're all so very nice. I just like, it's too much for me. I don't know. I think I'm such an introvert. Just like, I don't, I don't know. I, I kind of like scroll through their conversations, but like, I don't feel confident adding anything. And I'm just having like flashbacks to like trying to make friends in school. It's really uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm more a one-on-one -on -one kind of gal, you know? All right, the baby wakes, it's time to feed. That was the long story, but I just wanted to fill you in because I said that I would. And hopefully somebody out there like can relate to the story. Even if you don't have kids, I feel like there's just this idea of like going into a class for the first time. I always have trouble making friends. I always feel uncomfortable and I never feel like it can be myself. I'm working on it and the older I get, I feel like at this point, like I talked about it, um, in last week's video about just like being my true authentic self, like with doctors and stuff at this point. Cause like, ugh, there's just, what, what do you have to lose? It's better to just be authentically yourself. But I think like with motherhood stuff, I feel so insecure that I'm just like, I can't fully be myself quite yet. Does that make sense? She's back out. So wrapping back around to Vlogmas, I was just telling Jeff, I was like, I think I want to try to do Vlogmas. He's like, you love Vlogmas. I know I do love doing Vlogmas. Um, mostly because back in the day I would do like more produced videos and so Vlogmas was like a fun break. But now that I do vlogs all the time, it's not like it's like a break from that. Um, and in fact, I'm going to have to like up the amount of vlogs I do, but let me know if you want to see Vlogmas. Some days I don't really do that much because I'm just like tending to her and obviously I'm not going to put her on camera. This is like as much of her on camera as I'll put, but maybe I can get creative in the ways that I do my day-to-day -day stuff. Let me know if you want to see that. People don't do the weekends on Vlogmas, right? Just Monday through Friday. I don't know if I can keep up, but I'll certainly try if you guys want it. Be kind of fun. A new challenge. All right, my girl is awake. She has officially eaten. We are going to have some playtime. So I figured it's better for me to sign off now uh, before uh, I get distracted and don't do it. I love you guys very much. Thanks for listening to me blabber today. And just, you know, for going on this journey with me, like I say every week, or every vlog, but for really accepting your journey for what it is, even if it feels like you're doing a million steps forward and a million steps backwards, you're doing a great job. I'm proud of you and thank you for supporting me as I try to do the same. Now, if you'll excuse us, we have some tummy time to do. We love you guys, bye.